Now let's look at how we can include static files within our uh, application using Timeleaf templates. So static files are things like JavaScript uh, or CSS that you often include in the head of your, uh, of your page. And so since we want to be able to include CSS and HTML, or sorry, CSS and JavaScript across all the files of our site at once, let's make uh, a fragment that'll allow us to do that. So I'm here in my fragments file, and up at the top, um, inside of the, the head element, I'm going to make some space here below the title, and I'm going to add um, just two, two new uh, elements, one for a script and one for uh, a style sheet. So let's say script. And here, to normally we would put source equals um, to specify the location of our script. Uh, now, with Timeleaf, we actually have a little bit more power to use here and a little bit more syntax. So um, we're going to use th colon source. And then within the parentheses or the, the quotes here, I'm going to say at and then curly brace. Uh, put a pair of curly braces there and put uh, just the name of the file I want to use. Let's call this just uh, script.js. Um, and since this is just sort of an example, and then I'll close my script tag. Now we haven't made this file yet, but I'll show you where you can put it um, so that the special at syntax is able to find it uh, appropriately. So let's go ahead and put in a CSS file now. So we'll put in link. Similarly to th colon source, I'm going to put th colon href equals, same deal, at curly braces, and then I'm going to put styles.css. And that is my style sheet link. Okay, so now we don't have these files yet, but I can put them in a special place so that um, Timeleaf, with its syntax, will know exactly where to find them. And that is going to be within our uh, resources folder. So over in the project pane, under resources, be sure you're not inside of templates. I've, go, I've gone ahead and closed my templates directory or, or collapsed it. Right click on resources, go up to the top of the context menu, and select new directory. And I'm going to call this static. Okay, now within my static directory, I'm going to make a script.js file and a styles.css file. And so these don't have uh, file templates, so you can just create a new file and just make sure you give it the right file extension. So there I have a script.js. Let me right click on static again, and select a new file, and make styles.css, adding each of those to version control. So these two files in this default location, they have to be within resources, within a directory called static. As long as they're in that location, where am I? Here we go, back, back in my fragments, uh, that HTML file. As long as they're in that location, this syntax, th colon source with the, uh, the at symbol and the curly braces, or th colon href with the at symbol of the curly braces, Timeleaf will be able to dynamically find these based on uh, their location there. So um, that's a pretty cool feature there of Timeleaf. To be able to use this, these uh, script tags uh, and um, link tags across all of my files, I need to define this element as a fragment. So I'm just going to actually define the entire head section of my file here as a fragment. So remember the syntax for that is th colon fragment equals, and then we give it a name. Um, let me just call it head. Okay, and then I can reference this fragment anywhere else within my site. And while we're here, actually, before I go on, let me fill in this title element since this will now be used across all of our pages. Okay, so we'll just call, it, call our pages Coding Events, the name of the site. So now I've defined this fragment with the identifier head. I can use it in my other templates. Let's go to the index template. And now I can take what's here currently, the current head, I can wipe it out. And I can put a new head element and say th colon replace and reference the fragment. Recall that we do that by putting the name, first the name of the file that the fragment lives in, space, two colons, space, and then the name of the fragment within that file. And now I can just copy paste this new head element with that syntax in my other templates as well. And one more. There we go. And uh, just so we can see that this actually works, let me go ahead and put a style rule in my styles.css. Um, you know, I don't have any JavaScript that I need to write here, but just to show you that this works, let me say that my body, uh, we'll put something fairly obvious. Let me say that the font size for my body should be, I don't know, something like 
18 picks, something bigger than what it probably is already. And let's make the color, uh, oh, I don't know, purple. So it'll just be really, really obvious when we, so we can know that this style sheet is included on all three of our templates. Okay, now let's go ahead and start up the application and uh, see if that worked. Okay, the application started up. Let me go to a web browser and I'm currently on uh, the main page of the site at the root. Let me go ahead and just refresh. And I did not see my style sheet pulled in. Let me try one more time. Okay, let me uh, do a little bit of debugging here. Let's go ahead and open up my browser developer tools and go to the network pane. And I'm gonna refresh and see if my style sheet is loaded there. So my script seems to be loaded, but my style sheet was not. Let's go see if there was a typo or something of that sort with my style sheet. So let's see back over in IntelliJ, uh, under resources static, my file is called styles.css. There it is. Let's make sure I'm using the right file name in my fragment. If I go back to fragments, I see that I am referencing styles.css. Uh, I see a couple things here though um, that, that are incorrect. One is I really should be using a slash here to say that these are um, going to be accessed from the root. Uh, that, that, that wouldn't matter on the home page, but it could matter on other pages when you have relative paths involved. Secondly, I forgot my rel equals stylesheet attribute on my link tag. So uh, I think that should do it. Let's, let's cross our fingers, restart uh, the application, and, and see if that does it. Okay, it's restarted. I'll go back to the browser, hit refresh. There we go. So our text just got bigger and it's all purple now. And if we click around to other pages within our site, we see that indeed everything is bigger and everything is purple. So um, we can go ahead and test it out. There we go, our list of events. So uh, that style sheet is indeed included in all three pages of our site, okay? And uh, one more thing I wanna show you before we um, So that's how you can include static files like JavaScript and CSS across all the pages of your site easily using um, static, the static directory, and also using Timeleaf fragments.